hand out our initial Player of the Week award. This one wasn't much of a debate as we go to the opening game of the season, and it was a battle to the end between Alexander and Nixon. But in the end, it's the Bulldogs that come out on top, 44-40, to 40, and a massive part of that win came thanks to the arm and the legs of their quarterback, Jay Santa. <laughs> I'm Jay Santos, I go to Alexander High School and I'm class of 21. My name is Yale Vinoy, I own the Yale Vinoy Quarterback Academy here in San Antonio, Texas. Let's talk about Jay Santos. Jay Santos, uh, great kid. Jay Santos is a kid who comes from Laredo. If you guys don't know the, the, uh, the setup of Texas, Laredo to San Antonio is a three hour drive just, just to get here. And it's three hours back. So you're committing an hour and a half to a training session, sometimes two hours to a training. That's a full day. I don't, I don't know a more committed athlete than, than Jay Santos and what the Santos family have done. He's coming up here to work with guys from Laredo, his friends from Missouri. He's leaving his friends on the weekend to come get and work with, with us because one, he wants to work with the best. Um, and two, he wants to not just be the best in Laredo, but he wants to compare himself to the best in San Antonio, the best in our state. As well, to, that's, the, um, that's another good example of what he teaches. Um, um, what I love about him is that um, we work on our escape moves a lot, which really helps in the in the game a lot, I believe. I think one of the reasons he does drive in from Laredo is one, the relationship that I have. He trusts me, I trust him. Oh, it's definitely, you know, hey dude, when I, you know, I only went one state over to Louisiana. I didn't realize how different it was. Like just going over a state, but like South Louisiana. And uh, it was crazy. Like my first month there, I was like culture shock. And then like by the time I left, I was like, this is like my second home. I loved it. So you never know, you never know two Charles things that, you good? He already has three offers. Uh, he'll have more by the end of the season. He'll be playing college football somewhere. He'll be playing scholarship football somewhere. Uh, and he's just been a pleasure to coach. There it is, there it is, Josh. Ball, Jay. Whoa. Huh? Um, even though like we're all from different schools and everything and we're just we're all we all have the same common goal just to get better work harder um, we're just trying to learn from the best coach he wants to work out with some of the best quarterbacks some of the best high school quarterbacks in in Texas and that shows him uh, just how just how he is progressing just how good he is and then he takes that back to Laredo and and then uh, lifts up the play of, of his uh, of his teammates Jay's a guy who, you know, I've been coaching since he was in eighth grade. He's been coming to San Antonio, I mean, very consistently for, uh, yeah, for the last four years. So it's really uh, just a pleasure of mine to come actually see him live here in Laredo. It, uh, it, it means a lot to me.
And y'all came down here, what does that mean? Uh, it shows a lot, I mean, it's two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, it's pretty good, it feels good. I mean, I'm thankful to have a coach like him. I mean. uh, he had one of the biggest years for a Laredo quarterback. He's a guy who can go throw for throw with any quarterback I have, uh, with any quarterback in the state of Texas for that. Um, it has been a pleasure to have him as a part of the academy. Uh, and he's just been a pleasure to coach. On the next episode of YVQB. I'm Zamar Malvern. I'm a class of 2021 and I go to San Antonio Taft High School. He's just confident. And he brings a spark to our training sessions that I love. Zamar Malvern, the ultimate chip on your shoulder guy.